in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a young scholar named Kaido. Kaido had a burning desire to seek wisdom and understand the secrets of life. He had heard tales of a reclusive Zen master who was known for his profound insights. Determined to learn from this wise teacher, Kaido embarked on a journey to find him. After days of traveling through rugged terrain and lush forests, Kaido reached the outskirts of a tranquil monastery. As he approached, the scent of incense filled the air, and he could hear the faint sound of a bamboo flute. Kaido was welcomed by the master, an elderly man named Hiroshi, whose eyes held the depth of centuries. Hiroshi invited Kaido to sit in his simple tatami-floored room. He prepared a pot of fragrant tea and two delicate teacups. Kaido eagerly anticipated the profound teachings he was about to receive. Hiroshi began pouring the tea into Kaido's cup, but he didn't stop. The tea overflowed, spilling onto the table and the floor. Master, the cup is overflowing, Kaido exclaimed, bewildered by Hiroshi's actions. Hiroshi smiled calmly. Indeed, young traveler, just like this teacup, your mind is overflowing with preconceived notions, beliefs, and questions. How can you expect to receive wisdom when your cup is already full? Kato's brow furrowed as he tried to comprehend the lesson. Hiroshi then poured tea into his own cup, stopping just at the rim. You see, Kato, to learn, you must first empty your cup, let go of what you think you know, release your attachments, and approach life with a clear and open mind. Over the course of many days, Kato remained at the monastery, engaging in silent meditation and assisting Hiroshi with daily chores. As he raked the monastery's stone garden and tended to the bonsai trees, Kaido pondered the master's teachings. Gradually, he began to let go of his doubts, fears, and preconceptions. One evening, as Kaido sipped tea in Hiroshi's presence, he realized the depth of the lesson he had been taught. He no longer sought answers outside himself. Instead, he embraced the beauty of each moment, emptying his cup of judgment and anxiety. When it was time for Kaido to leave, Hiroshi handed him an empty teacup as a reminder of their time together. Remember, Kaido, an empty teacup can hold infinite possibilities. As you continue your journey, approach life with the curiosity and humility of an empty cup, and you will find the wisdom you seek. Find the. Kaido left the monastery with a heart full of gratitude and a mind unburdened by the weight of certainty. He embarked on a new chapter of his life, carrying the lessons of the empty teacup with him.